G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. Now, uh, this morning at around eight o'clock, the uh, local delivery guy dropped the brand new 124016 from WL Toys, their brand new desert buggy. I've been eagerly waiting for this one to arrive in the post. So uh, I'd like to thank Makerfire for sending this one out. And uh, today we're just gonna go for a quick test run. We're gonna see if there's any cogging issues. This is gonna be my very first run with it. I just charged up the LiPo. Uh, I actually did bring my speed uh, reader, thinking that it had some charge on it, but uh, I'm gonna to have to do a speed test another good time, guys, okay? Because it was dead flat. So uh, let's take it for a spin. No need for an unboxing on this one, guys. It runs the exact same uh, setup as the brushless 124017. We've got the same ESC, 60 amp rated ESC. Uh, also has the same uh, 2845 3400 kV motor with an independent receiver and three wire servo. So let's see how the brand new 124016 Desert Buggy runs. It actually looks really nice. I uh, do like the uh, way it looks. So uh, let's see if it has any cogging issues and see if it performs exactly like the 124017 that I reviewed last week. Hey guys, so it's all bound and uh, we've got the throttle trim all the way up. Looks like we've got the steering trim in the center here. Now we do have that cogging issue. Let's try that out. Yeah, it's still very evident on this model. That's unfortunate. But uh, just like the 017, there's no change there. Let's see if there's any delay in the lag. I'm gonna go in reverse. Yeah, a bit of a cog there. Yeah, I'm finding the exact same, maybe a second delay. Look at that, lost range already. Wow, what's going on guys? Now I've got range back. Wow, this range is very poor. The uh, buggy goes a bit further than this. Now the buggy does have limited range, but going on W all toys okay let's just uh, take it up on here now I have to do a speed test like I said another time but uh, yeah I'm a bit surprised with the range there see how it cogs on this grass oh no look at that guys up a bit of an incline full throttle and it doesn't want to go anywhere. Now it just kicked in, all right. Oh, that's terrible, guys. Seems like it's worse than the buggy because uh, I'd say this one would have a bit more weight because it does have this hard uh, cage around it, being a desert buggy style. Okay. Yeah, we've still got that cogging issue, guys. That's, that's a shame. Now, this just got released a little bit later than the 017 buggy. About a week later, and uh, you think uh, WL Toys would have seen the issues that YouTube channels like myself are having and uh, rectified the issues, but seems like a bit of a lack of uh, QC testing going on at WL Toys. This is pretty quick though. <laughs> this is pretty quick. That range is really poor, guys. I lost range a little bit then. Wow. Speechless. It's actually got worse range than, the, than I experienced anyway with the buggy. I mean, I can only go on my own experiences with these RCs. But I had better range with the buggy than this one. Fogging once again. I mean, as far as being capable off-road, it is pretty capable off-road, as you can see. Just like the brush version, the 018. It's 
So I'm going to go see how it goes in uh, some off-road terrain down here. Okay, let's bring it down here. Ripping through that pretty good. So that cogging, guys, is very unfortunate. And the range. I'm actually surprised about the range on this one. That's very poor range. WL Toys have really got to step up their QC. You know, a lot of us have been eagerly awaiting this, these uh, brushless series of their, uh, I mean, look at that. You know, we've been eagerly waiting for these brushless models and they are somewhat disappointing. Performance-wise, not too bad. You know, besides all the cogging, I'm talking about the actual power is not too bad, but the range and the cogging issue is just terrible. He's cogging halfway up the hill. Just testing the range again. It's cut out on me just there, so I'm probably only around was around 60 meters away. <laughs> Come on. That is crazy. The shocks are exactly the same as the 124018. They actually feel a little bit better on this one out the box than the 018 when I reviewed that. You probably remember that. The very early models of the 018 brush version and the uh, 019 were overfilled with uh, oil. So this cogging issue is just nuts. I'd have to say, so far, I'm quite disappointed. Once it gets going, it's not too bad, but... I mean, that's not much of a... much of a hill on this bank here. And look at it, it just doesn't want to go. The buggy wasn't as, that, as bad. It was not that ideal, but wasn't as bad as this. See, once it gets going, it's not too bad, but yeah. What am I do, guys? I got my programming card on me. I'm gonna just uh, tweak it, the setting there for the start mode. This time I'm gonna try the soft mode setting. See if that helps, eh? Let's, let's try it out. All right guys, well I just got back to the car to grab my uh, programming card here, but um, I just realized the independent receiver here is underneath this hood. And I looked in my backpack and I usually have a little uh, screwdriver kit in there, but I didn't bring it with me. It must be on my bench at home in the garage there. So unfortunately I'm not gonna tune it in this video. I'll try it in another video. I'll experiment and see if we can reduce the cogging issue like in my previous video with the 017. If you haven't seen that video in the meantime, I'll leave it in the top right hand corner of the screen right now. And uh, you can actually set the start modes using this program card. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna try it out on the 3S instead. We'll see if the cogging eliminates a little bit. I doubt it, but we'll see with this particular model. This one seems to cog much worse than the 017. I think due to the extra weight of the shell here and the roll cage. So. A uh, few people asked me uh, when I tested this 3S in my uh, 017 video the, of the buggy, they're asking where you can get this from and uh, I left a link in the description and comments uh, replies to those people that asked but uh, yeah it's just a 25C 1800 milliamp hour, it fits perfectly 
It's about the same size as the uh, original 2200 milliamp hour battery. I'll leave a link to this one below, guys. You can get it at banggood.com, okay? It's actually off a Phelan uh, FT012 speedboat, brushless speedboat. So I'll leave a link for anyone that wants to uh, purchase this particular LiPo. Okay, so as you can see, the 3S is fitted in there perfectly. It's the same size pretty much as the uh, original battery here. Okay, so uh, let's uh, turn it on. There we go, not a problem. Okay, so let's get into it. We'll try it on 3S now. And uh, I might actually go on the sports oval behind me as well. We'll rip it around here a bit more and then uh, we'll take it on the sports okay, field. Guys, on the 3S. There's much less fogging there. But look at that, that range is awful. What's going on? Yeah, I'm pretty disappointed. This range is a joke, beyond a joke. Oh, well, there was less cogging there on takeoff. Quite quick now, just like the buggy. The 017. Lost range again, look at that. Oh, intermittent and look at that. Look at it. It just took off, it lost range then connected with the range again and then just, that's nuts. Yeah, something's happened, something's happened, look at that. Nah, this is a dud guys. W toys. What have you done? Broken something. Something's rubbing. Because it hit that curb. Hmm, what's that rubbing coming from? Okay, well, doesn't sound too good, does it? Sounds like a nitro now. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I'll bring it in. That's going to end it on this one. Do I recommend this 124016 buggy, guys? No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> it's got some serious issues, that's for sure, especially due to the range. Um, I don't really like the range at all on this one. It's quite pathetic, actually, guys. So, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what's uh, rubbing there. Coming from the back, could be something to do with the gearing. Not too sure. But uh, yeah, guys, look, if you've got the 018 already, the brush version of this, I'd say put a brushless system in that and save you 140 bucks or whatever, but uh, yeah, quite disappointing guys, quite disappointing indeed. I mean, it does have the same power as the buggy once it gets going, but the cogging issue on this model seems much worse than the 017, the 124017, and the range issue is is pathetic. I mean, you just saw what happened there. That was just nuts. It actually ran away on me. It lost connection, then regained it all of a sudden, and then just took off and smashed into that curbing there. And now there's a noise coming from the back here. Possible maybe the diff is damaged. I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to have a closer look at home. But uh, yeah, guys, I'd say give this one a miss, okay? I'd say go with the brushed models um, for sure. Uh, you're better off saving a little bit more um, and just buy the brush model and then put in your own brushless system. That's what I think anyway. Okay, even though this one does look really nice with the... Uh, I do like the red and the black body. I'll admit that. But, um, you know, what's the use of the looks if you can't, uh, you know, actually enjoy the RC? for what it is so yeah rather disappointing guys um, I was looking forward to this one when I first saw uh, online photos and so forth and now that I've got this one in my hands it was rather disappointing which is unfortunate um, the range is just crazy it's, it's like 40 50 meters very intermittent so uh, yeah 
give it a pass guys uh, that's what I recommend don't waste your money I say save your money get the brush version like I just said and uh, yeah give this one a pass unless you really really want to have it but I'd suggest replace the uh, receiver and the ESC for sure and a transmitter if you want to enjoy this buggy at all okay in the stock uh, configuration with this transmitter and receiver combo this particular model is uh, a big thumbs down I'm rather disappointed so anyway guys look I will be leaving a link to this below I don't recommend to buy it uh, like I just said but uh, I will be leaving a link as, as uh, you know part of the reviewing process uh, Makerpie did send this one out to me so there will be a link for this uh, 016 in the description below along with the coupon code but I'll be putting a link for the 124017 just underneath it and the brush models as well uh, and you can get a discount using the Perth West Oz RC discount code so there you have it guys that was my very first maiden run of the 124016 I received it this morning and uh, there you have it that was my experience with it um, I'll definitely have a look at what's rubbing there there's something uh, something rubbing in the back there so I'll have to pull it apart when I get home and then I'll bring it out again and maybe do a, a full on max speed run with it on that uh, speed run road that I go to now see how far I can go with a Dumbo RC uh, receiver and controller that's for sure alright guys thanks very much for watching as always I do appreciate it if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe for more RC content like this and hit the notification bell and I'll catch you on the next one guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up and make sure you comment below what you think of this brand new 124016 I am not impressed at all all right guys catch you later have a great day